NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 modded with 16GB GDDR6 memory yeah, you heard it right. Let's dive into details with Tech Wafer Talk Episode 2, I am Steve. Russian-based modder, Vikon, has upgraded the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card with 16GB GDDR6 memory. The modding required some technical experience but in the end, Vikon had the RTX 3070 running with twice its original memory capacity. The graphics card used by Vikon is the Palette Gaming Pro model. We have seen modders replace memory modules on NVIDIA GeForce graphics cards before. TechLab did it all the way back in 2019 by modding the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti to support 16 gigabits per second modules as it featured 14 gigabits per second modules for stock. Here, we don't see a memory speed upgrade but instead, a capacity boost. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 originally comes with 8GB GDDR6 memory and while we have heard several rumors of a higher capacity TI variant in the past, that does not seem to be the case anymore. So Vikon has decided to take the job into his own hands and replace the 8GB memory modules with 16GB memory modules. The memory modules used are the Samsung made K4s off 3258MHC14 which have a density of 16 gigabits that make up 2 gigabytes capacity per module. Each of the 8 memory modules on RTX 3070 is also Samsung K4Z803256 CHC14 chips but feature 8 gigabits densities for a total of 1 gigabyte per module. After the upgrade, the graphics card is correctly recognized by the software as RTX 3070 16 gigabytes. The graphics card can also be used in Furmark, 3 mark and even mining. However, the card is unstable and would randomly render black screens. The instability in black screens could be avoided if two tests were run simultaneously. For this reason, Vicon completed Time Spy with Furmark running in the background. If you're still enjoying the video, a sub to the channel would be heartful. The second video provides a solution as suggested by the subscribers. As it turns out, the IVGA precision clock locking method would fix the instability issue. Now, without Furmark in the background, the card has scored 13,783 points in 3 Mark Time Spy and 4,914 points in Unagain Superposition 8K Optimized Test. Both results are slightly better than RTX 3070 Founders Edition, confirming that the upgrade was a complete success. To make the GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card work, it has to be configured through BIOS but since Nvidia has a very hard lock on the BIOS which even manufacturers can't even modify, a different approach was required. The modder decided to trick the strap set which had to be configured manually. Each strap set comes with a unique number of bits that determine which memory modules are being used. The 00000-bit strap is for Samsung 8 gigabits, 1 gigabyte, modules, 00001 is for Micron 8 gigabits, 1 gigabyte, modules while the 00110 strap set supports 16 gigabits, 2 gigabytes, modules. After the proper strap configuration is set for the card, a different memory configuration can be enabled. 16 gigabytes in the case of this RTX 3070. The initial boot up of the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card was successful but it was giving out a few errors, where it won't load a different application without Furmark running in the background. Since Furmark is a very heavy stress test for the GPU, the final performance of the graphics card wasn't that great. But a workaround to this comes in the form of IVGA Precision's clock locking method with fix the issue and let the card run to its fullest potential with 16 GB capacity. The final results as reported, are slightly bit better than the reference NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphics cards. Surely they aren't a huge leap in performance which could be why NVIDIA decided to scrap the double capacity variant but we are still hopeful we will see a TI variant with a higher bin GA104 GPU with 16GB GDDR6 VRAM in the future. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to TechWafer for more content like this. See you in the next episode of TechWafer Talks. Steve signing off. Peace out.